These days, holding down a full-time job as a police officer and taking care of one's family can be very demanding. But add the dedication required to be a full-time musician and the responsibility of being a hip-hop producer, and some would find maintaining a balance nearly impossible. Today, we're going to meet a man who handles all of these tasks and more with ease. Officer Curtis Boyd, or Kaz to his friends, meets the challenge of being a Port Authority police officer and professional musician with a drive that's nothing less than inspiring. I've been in Port Authority for probably about seven years. Going on seven years, I've been a Port Authority officer for about two and a half years. He's one of our finest employees. Uh, good worker, dedicated, a real people person. He, uh, he likes to talk with kids. I mean, he's real good with the kids. I mean, even the harder ones that grow up in the neighborhoods. I think I have a, a real gift for being able to talk to them because I sort of understand. I've come from the same humble backgrounds. Even before he became a full-fledged officer in the Port Authority Police Department, Curtis took an active interest in the improvement of the unit and its employees. Yeah, when I was a security guard, I created a, a training manual for the uh, new trainees that were coming in. It basically described what the job function was of a security guard and it pretty much explained what we do as far as safety down here in the subway system. One of Officer Boyd's favorite places to patrol is Steel Plaza in downtown Pittsburgh. And we have the pirate crowd, we have the, um, the hockey crowd, um, any special events going on in the city, this place can get pretty crazy at times. I had a situation in the subway system where a gentleman had a seizure. I was able to assist him and get him the proper medical help. I was pretty interested. We have, in my opinion, one of the safest subway systems Due to the officers that we have stationed down here, we basically respond at a moment's notice. Yes, yes, yo. Don't stop. One time, yo. Curtis, tell me how you got involved in music. I've been doing music back in, I'm talking about like 70s. My stepfather had a band. I used to sneak back and play all his instruments and uh, get my mm, whoop. <laughs> What got you interested in producing? Prince. Uh, yeah. Short and simple. I was watching Prince. He played so many different instruments. He's producing acts, and that kind of motivated me to do the same thing. Been working with Cass for about five years now, off and on. Good guy, you know, tight production. Right. Gotta stay with the best. When our producer really puts his heart and soul into his music and you can feel his music. That makes me want to sing. It brings out the best in me. It's universal, you know what I'm saying? He, he does all type of music, anything you need. Crossover, uh, hip-hop, R&B, rock, heavy metal. <laughs> I don't think there is a music that he can't do. Hit that beat again, man. I need a little bit more, little bit more grit. What is the job of a producer? Producer brings out an artist, uh, his qualities or his or her qualities, he, they don't even know they have. You know, essentially, you know, you're you're like a, a director. They're involved more in the more technical aspect of it. Songwriter, pen, paper, producer, gear. You know, <laughs> we're talking about like keyboards. You know, you have to know how to work this. You have to work that, and you have to make it sound good. Street producers play by like just by air. Like he actually knows how to read music and things, so it's a little different when it comes to piano playing and guitar chords and things. The beats are always hot. The vocals ain't tight. He gonna tell you, and that's what you need in this business. You don't want a yes man. Everybody got a yes man, but later for that, he gonna tell you straight. It's only a few guys here that I know of that are really holding down and, and, and are serious about the music to where they can have another job and still love this business enough to still do this until something works out in your favor. Because it's a hard business to be in. Today's hip hop producer not only has to be creative and dedicated, but it helps if they're fluent in one or more instruments. If anybody asks me what instrument do I play, I say a guitar player. Um, I've learned how to play the keyboards, piano, um, any string instrument, like as far as the bass, you know, um, upright bass, I'm, I'm a percussionist. All the percussion instruments I play pretty well. You might think that with producing music, taking care of his family, and working full time as a police officer, Curtis's plate would be pretty full. But that's not all he's been up to. I'm in the process now of completing a novel that I've been working on since probably about 1989 with a good friend, Robert Schmidt. Basically, a story about a young boy from the ghetto, 
uh, and all the issues he had to deal with growing up and maturing and not only maturing but becoming cultured and educated and implementing himself into society. We do have a publisher um, and, and a couple screenwriters interested in doing a story as a, as a feature film. On a professional level, Curtis has worked with hip-hop producers Dr. Dre and Mailman, and he's currently producing tracks for R&B artist Faith Evans, among others, through his own music production company called Loyalty for Life Productions. So whether it's in the studio, on the streets, or in the subway, you never know where you might bump into Curtis Boyd, the hip-hop cop. This is Adam Smith on cue.